Hello and welcome everyone to Quick Home Reviews. I'm the Cadaver CJ Metal and today I'm stiffening up for Cadaver Circulation by Crypt. Released this year of 2019, this is a stench-ridden death doom album. The sound on this album is complete is completely filthy and just smothered in decay and other nasty, gross things. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, don't expect an emotional performance from this band because you will be thoroughly disappointed. In fact, you can actually expect some nasty guttural vocals fused with an echo effect. Now, normally I would criticize the use of a echo effect on vocals, but I thought it worked on this album. And the drums also share the same effect as well. And like I mentioned before, the guitar and bass really bring down the fill, so when you combine filth and echo... It does make for a very grimy production, and I think overall it does work quite well. However, the glaring issue with this album, at least for me, is definitely the composition, especially on the first three tracks. The songs just move so slow and just really seem to linger on way longer than they actually have to be. I, I really feel like the band could have cut back on the length of these tracks easily by like chopping off like a minute or a minute and a half or even two minutes I think it definitely would have uh, cut down on the lingering effect and it probably would have made the songs flow a bit better because on the next three tracks I mean it definitely picks up a little bit the speed does and so there really isn't as much lingering effect and I definitely found the second half or the last three tracks to be definitely superior to the first three tracks especially in composition as far as like production and everything goes it's the same throughout the album so it's really just the composition that really it really hindered this album for me so despite the atmosphere on this album being quite excellent the composition moves way too slow and lingers way too much for me if the first three tracks moved a bit quicker then this album review would be a definite different story but with all that being said, I have to give this album a 7.5 out of 10. And of course, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to like and subscribe as well. Also, just an FYI to, I guess, anyone who cares. I actually have a playlist on YouTube here that features all the 2019 albums I've reviewed. Or, well, at least the ones I could find on in full length on YouTube because... I don't know. I mean, you would think every single full-length album would be available on YouTube, but you'd be surprised about how many there actually aren't. But uh, I'm going to try to update it soon so it could be... Uh, there'll be even more albums on there. So if you want to go check that out, I'll uh, add an attachment so you can all uh, go give that a listen. All right, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day, and I will see you at the next review.